so I've made the unfortunate decision of picking technology as a point of interest for me. On one hand, it's really, really fun. I really like the in to uh, understand technology and understand computers and whatnot. In fact, I built this computer right here, uh, like, a, like a, a year ago. I'm also currently taking uh, some courses in order to get certified to be to start working in IT. The one drawback that comes with uh, enjoying and understanding technology is everybody who doesn't enjoy or understand technology sees you as the de facto IT guy. So even though I'm not certified in any way, I am forced by my friends and family to fa uh, fix all of their technological mishaps. So a while ago, my roommate had asked me to set up their printer for them. Um, and uh, about two months later, I finally did. And when I did, I saw that the ink was kind of low, so today I need to change the ink. And also, I've only managed to get it set up wirelessly to connect to my computer, but not to anybody else's for some reason. I found that the drivers just won't install on someone else's computer, which I find very strange. But we have a household project that we want to do that we want to print out a bunch of album covers and have them pasted onto the wall. Uh, there's a wall downstairs that's really blank that we want to fill up with a bunch of album covers and stuff that's pictures of us that's edited to look like album covers. But since my computer's the only one that can connect to the printer, I have to print out all of those pictures from my computer. So I'm going to try to get some of those printed and tested today to make sure we don't have to adjust anything like sizing or anything like that. So. printed out first, so I'm gonna do that first so I don't forget. And they emailed it to me, so three, four, five. Okay, hold on. Okay, can't print out the forms right now because we don't actually have any 
standard size printer paper. We only have legal size, which is super long for absolutely no reason. Okay. Let's start getting some of these printed out. No, I want color, please. Yeah, okay. I'm just gonna print one for now and see how it works. Let's try it. Okay, so it's a little weird. It uh, has these little scan lines going down it. I don't, I don't really know how to fix that. I'm gonna look into it a little bit more, but uh, let me try a different one because I have a feeling that's just because it's a mostly dark image. So let me try a different one that's a little bit more bright. Let's try this one. Hopefully this one works a little bit better. Ink is running low. Oh, it's almost out of yellow ink now. Cancel. Well, I guess I gotta order more ink, but... Um, I can try to get a couple things printed, even with the low ink. Uh, let, let, me, let me print this one and make sure this works. Okay. Okay, this one does have a little bit of a scan line thing going, but it looks much, much, much better. So you can barely notice it unless you're really looking for it. So that's good. I'm gonna try to get one or two more of these done, and then I think that'll be good until I can get more yellow ink, and then I'll probably do some more. So, oh, hello. Um, Lucy's been like jumping all around all over the place all of the time. Um, and she likes to jump on top of my computer because it's a warm source of heat. She likes to lay on it. However, when that happens, she hits the power button and turns off my computer a lot of the time while I'm in the middle of using it. So I found the only solution I've had is to put some antibacterial wipes over it. She hasn't hit it since, but she does like to knock this off sometimes. So it's not a... It's not a permanent solution, but it's a solution. <laughs> <laughs>